everyone it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening i trust and hope that you're doing really fantastic and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the north atlantic and we're going to kind of focus on the caribbean so there is a situation unfolding in parts of the western caribbean so there's a lot of heavy rainfall impacting sections of jamaica inducing flooding and even landslides so we'll be taking a look at that in some depth but we'll also be looking at our other systems out there as we can see we've got that disturbance not much of a concern but it could still be a rainmaker for parts of mexico so we'll be talking about that as well as invest 91 l which is the disturbance highlighted in red and there is tropical storm philippe which is battling some wind shear so let's move on to these satellites and uh, there we can see our systems there's philippe out there quite prominent looking a bit more disheveled as it takes on that shear so that should help it to remain to uh, kind of maintain intensity and try to survive out there but we'll see what happens in the long term either way it is likely to remain offshore we'll talk more about it in a moment we'll go on to the code forecast and all of that in a moment but let's drift down into the caribbean and here we can see all this activity in the western part of the basin we can even see some of that cyclonic rotation with that low pressure area located in the gulf so uh, there is some activity associated with it and near jamaica there you can see some of those dark reds those blacks grays and when we see some of those hints of purple that is where we find the heaviest rainfall and even the, uh, even strong winds as well and uh, a lot of the heavy rainfall has been felt across southern parishes and other spots in the island of course many areas should see some improvement but there is still going to be that chance of some additional showers and thunderstorms so here we are taking a closer look at jamaica and we can see all this activity there most of it is offshore which is some good news because surely we definitely would not want to see any significant flooding across most of the island some areas are already being inundated significantly matter of fact some video footage was shared with me so thank you melissa for these uh for sharing what's happening there in portland so this is in the parish of portland one of the eastern parishes of jamaica there we can see all of that inundation and even at port antonio high school there is some inundation as well on those school grounds and actually with the resumption of school back in early september i actually mentioned that there should be plans in place for events such as this because sometimes these heavy rainfall events can trigger flooding and it is important to have plans with the young ones so that they know what to do should in case they can't uh, get home or be in immediate contact let's now go back out we're zooming back out on these satellite imagery here and we can see that uh, some thunderstorms are developing across some spots in the bahamas even in hispaniola puerto rico as well near the virgin islands but things get a bit drier heading over into the lesser antilles but not so much for the windward islands there we can see all those clouds moving in from the main development region and even developing there to the northeast of the ABC Allen. So it would be absolutely great if some of this activity would actually move through the area and bring along with it some rainfall because it has been rather hot and dry there. So that would be very much appreciated. And so we want to now go ahead and take a look at our active systems. So let us go ahead and kickstart things taking a look at Philippe. So here is the, uh, the tropical storm rather and we can see that it is not looking too good. It is looking quite disheveled and we don't see much from this. Let's go on to the visible satellite imagery take a look at this it's getting darker as the nighttime hours set in across the atlantic so there we can see that exposed center all of those thunderstorms all of that activity displaced to the east of the center of the system that is the work of the wind shear that we're seeing in action uh disrupting the uh, the cyclone so that is why much intensification is not expected and as I mentioned in a previous update, the system is in basically survival mode right now, trying to hold on to that tropical storm status. And as we go on to the cone forecast, this is as of the 11 a.m. update. We can see that as of that time, it was sustained in winds of 50 miles per hour, maybe around the same intensity right now, moving westward at 13 miles per hour. So it is going to remain outside the Caribbean, but there is some uncertainty with what it does as we head to this weekend. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on it. So uh, if you're in Bermuda, that you want to keep watching not saying that you guys will be impacted but there is some uncertainty and we definitely have to keep our eyes on it but of course i'm here to keep you guys posted now uh, as for this disturbance here there is a zero percent chance that we could see development so as expected that wind shear would be too strong for the system so, so we can disregard it in terms of seeing any potential tropical cyclone development
Now we're moving on to invest 91L. Now take a look at this. I want to point out something to you guys. The formation chance has not increased since this morning, still at a high 80%, uh, but through the next 48 hours at a medium 40%. So we could see it try to get itself together and become a tropical depression, maybe by the midweek and eventually tropical storm arena. So that's the next name to be used for the season, arena. But there is something I want to point out to you guys, a significant or rather observable change since this morning so this was this morning and take a look at now notice that westward shift notice how this shaded area is a bit closer to the caribbean now that doesn't necessarily dictate that hey this will be a problem for the caribbean however we want to keep watch for a potential impact and some ensemble members actually take the system very close to the point where impacts will be felt some even taking it in the northwestern part of the basin so we're starting out with euro and here we can see so this goes out to saturday of this week the 30th uh, final day of September and here we can see that we've got that cluster that first cluster is for uh, Philippe that next one is for what could become or what is expected to become arena so this is what is expected as we head to this weekend now something very interesting here so as we head to Tuesday of next week the 3rd of October take a look at this quite a bit of members taking uh, what will become arena very close to the Caribbean a couple of members even want to take it into the northeastern islands now this would be good and bad news good news in the sense that there is that need for an increase in rainfall activity because of the drought that has been experienced no real substantial rainfall for uh, weeks even months in some areas now so that would be very good to offset the heat and the drought conditions that have been ongoing but the bad news if we're talking about a tropical storm we know that comes with its adverse effects the flooding the landslides so that would be the concern but if it would be close enough to the point where it induces increased rainfall activity without the significant impacts then that would be rather desirable now uh, as for gfs we can see that as we head to monday of next week we can see decent agreement on both of these systems staying well offshore off anywhere so most of these members are not expecting that either philippe or potential rena will be an issue for land but take a look over in the western caribbean go into the gulf this will be the area to watch regardless as we head into October and going into November as well as conditions get more conducive. So we'll have less and less activity across the main development region and we'll have to pay more attention to what's happening over in the Western Atlantic and take a look at this. This is showing the ocean heat content. Those red areas indicating that very deep warm water to sustain and uh, result in intensification of tropical cyclones. And as I've mentioned before, there hasn't been anything to really tap into these very warm waters and with the above average waters as well this could result in so much activity as we're seeing now all these thunderstorms being fueled in the western caribbean this is likely to be a trend for some time so we'll definitely have to keep watch at the western part of the basin for our upcoming tropical systems and so i'm here to keep you posted as always and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update and i trust and hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond once i get the chance to to do so and as always remember to be weatherwise.